Hello, you're watching Guitar 101 Remstein, and this is a really quick video on a very effective and useful hack for guitar or bass. That, um, especially if you're a performing musician, if you're playing live, I'm sure you've been in this scenario in that case where uh, you hit the stage, they start the fog machine, or the floodlights behind you, or colored lights, anything that makes it really difficult to see. Someone takes a photo in your face with a flash and you're temporarily blinded, etc. And you're looking down and you can't see anything on your fretboard. You cannot see your fret markers. So for about a dollar and five minutes of your time, that's all it's going to set you back to fix that problem. Uh, basically, I just, just go to eBay and search glow-in-the-dark tape. You can find it for about a buck for like 10 meters. I bought a roll and it was enough to easily do five or six guitars and still have some left over. So you get this tape, it's glow in the dark, cut out little strips and you put them as fret markers. Um, really simple. I saw this idea actually, a band I was touring with a few years ago, the guy had some white tape on his band. I was like, what tape is that? And he goes, it's actually the, you know, those labels you put on your luggage at the airlines your baggage labels, you just cut pieces of that off. So I was like, mm, good idea. It seemed to work really good. And I was like, I guess there's probably glow-in-the-dark tape. Looked it up, and sure enough. Um, this stuff, it's not going to really screw up your paint job, you know, and it, it doesn't come off. Just, it's not going to be a problem with it constantly, hi, Freya, coming off. Um, I don't know. I've used this base with this tape on it probably about 10 shows or so. I sweat a lot when I play. And they're still on there. They're nice and smooth. I can feel it a little bit, but it doesn't affect my playing in any way. And it makes it a lot easier. Uh, especially for me, I'm playing and singing at the same time. So I, I'm using my peripheral vision a lot of the times to look at the fret markers. And on most of my guitars, you can see those, those original fret markers are really small dots. They're very hard to see in the dark. So, yeah, real quick and easy one to do. I just mark my all the way to my... No, I marked all the way to uh, 17 on mine up to 12, whatever you want to do. I just put them where the original fret markers are. And that's it. Really, really simple, but really, really useful. Thanks for watching.